Hello, I'm Jen Person for The Developer Show. This is your update on the coolest developer news from Google in the last week. The Google Photos Library API gives you the ability to build photo and video experiences in your products that are faster, smarter, and more helpful. And it's now generally available. For an overview and links to the docs, head on over to the post linked in the description below. The Cloud Firestore SDKs support offline persistence on the web, in addition to Android and iOS, managing all your data locally so you can execute advanced queries purely against the local cache. And now the Cloud Firestore Web SDK has multi-tab offline persistence, so your users can read and modify their local data even when they open your app in multiple tabs. The code to turn it on is on the post. Cloud TPUs were designed from the ground up to train and run cutting-edge ML models, with each Cloud TPU v2 delivering up to 180 teraflops of compute power, and each Cloud TPU v3 providing up to 420 teraflops. And now, Google-designed Cloud TPUs are publicly available in beta on Google Kubernetes Engine. GKE also supports preemptible Cloud TPUs that are priced 70% lower than the standard price of Cloud TPUs. Details are on the post. Stackdriver workspaces are a place for you to organize all the Stackdriver resources you care about in ways that match your needs. They can track your existing Google Cloud Platform projects, as well as any Amazon Web Services accounts that you want to monitor. Screenshots and links to get started are on the post. We recently launched the What If tool, a new feature to the open source TensorBoard web application, which allows you to analyze ML model without writing any code. Given pointers to a TensorFlow model and a dataset, the What If tool offers an interactive visual interface for exploring model results. Screenshots and links to demos are on the post. All known machine learning algorithms are vulnerable to adversarial examples, which are inputs that an attacker has intentionally designed to cause the model to make a mistake. The Unrestricted Adversarial Examples Challenge is a community-based challenge to incentivize and measure progress towards the goal of zero-confident classification errors in machine learning models. For examples and a link to participate, take a look at the post. Chrome 70 Beta includes the Shape Detection API, updates to the Web Authentication API, and more. For details on all the features in this release, head on over to the post. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Jen Person for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Some great run-on sentences in this one, so it's, it's going to be fun.